Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the VHDL code for JK flip-flop. So this JK flip-flop we have already discussed in the last class. Okay, so JK flip-flop is nothing but which is an extension of SR flip-flop what we have discussed already. Uh, SR flip-flop we know stat reset and JK stands for Johnson and Philby. I think I might have forgot in the last class to tell. JK means Johnson and Philby. Johnson and Kelby. So JK flip flop, and we have seen the logic diagram of this using gates where we have additionally a feedback connection from the output to the input uh, Q bar to J, Q to K. And this is the truth table. This truth table just shows a normal representation with the clock and the JK inputs. And if you consider the preset and clear also, this is the original uh, and actual uh, truth table. Okay. Now, let me tell you the VHDL code, one of the important tasks of our uh, digital IC design subject, where the VHDL code is very, very important to write for each and every digital logic circuit. So, we are going to see a behavioral model behavioral model for this jk flip-flop okay see here we can write the vhdl code for this truth table or for this truth table both are valid but as it is more specified version of the jk flip-flop with a clear and preset so i will go with this truth table which is very important okay uh, writing behavioral code, VHDL code is nothing but writing VHDL code in a behavioral description is nothing but writing on the co uh, truth table. Writing code on the truth table. Okay, I think we know this one. So, first for any behavioral, for any type of VHDL code, first the foremost line should be library. Library I triple E. Library. I triple E use I triple E dot STD underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all one one six four dot all. Okay, if you want additional packages like arithmetic and unsigned, they also you can incorporate just like a use I triple E dot STD underscore logic underscore arith dot all actually we are not performing any arithmetic operations that's why this package is not required here uh, otherwise you can if you want you can uh, if you have any doubt whether you are uh, uh, having any error because of the lack of this information then also you can just write unsigned unsigned dot all see these two packages we generally use when we are performing arithmetic operations in the programming okay now coming to the entity entity is a place where we declare the inputs and outputs of the module okay so entity what is this jk flip flop jk underscore flip flop is port of so let me go to the circuit and tell me what are the inputs and outputs for this module so if you take this as a module jk clock jk clock these are the three inputs along with preset and clear along with preset and clear these so totally how many inputs are there one two three four five five inputs are there and two outputs are there so five inputs are there j k clock preset underscore l <coughs> because it is a active low pin and clear underscore l okay there i have shown it as a bar instead of bar i am taking underscore l otherwise it, that is of no rep, uh, use just if you want to normal representation if you want to go with normal representation just write clear and preset more precisely if you want then you can go with underscore l because that underscore l shows that it is an active looping okay so that afterwards if any unknown person has visited this type of program then he or she can easily understand okay these two are active low pins and these are active high pins okay for that representation you can easily uh, represent them 
okay so preset underscore l clear underscore l uh, in mode in std underscore logic all these are single bits no need to go for vector and output is q q bar q q bar out std underscore logic std underscore logic that's it so end jk flip flop and jk flip flop now let us go to the main part of the program where the behavior of the program the behavior of the logic circuit is written that is architecture 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 behavioral of jk flip flop is architecture behavior of jk flip flop is uh, let me take a gap here suppose if you want to write anything begin begin and we know very well in the case of architecture and in the case of behavioral model definitely we write the program entire program in the process in the process so process of what are the instances we have here clock is a main instance j is an instance k is an instance preset underscore l is an instance and clear underscore l is also an instance <coughs> process should begin process uh, before before going to the process begin let me take one intermediate signal which is q n q n first we assign all these outputs to q n and then we will assign q n to q n q and q bar okay so this is q here it is a variable so variable declaration should be done before the beginning of process variable q n no need to specify in or out std underscore logic so begin begin if if preset underscore l is equal to zero <coughs> if preset underscore l is equal to zero then so what what happens when preset is equal to zero output q n q n colon equal to see here generally we write less than equal to means assignment statement here colon is equal to is also an assignment statement but difference between this one and that one is this is a variable q n colon equal to means it is a variable this colon equal to represents that q n is a variable if you take less than equal to then q n will be a signal but q n is instant uh, here uh, we have instantiated the q n as a variable that's why it is colon equal to hope you understand and q n is equal to zero q n equal to zero no need to specify about q n bar okay we will say at the end and then else if else if don't open don't separate else if e l s e i f don't write like that it is else if e l s i f it's a single word okay that means you are not opening one more if if you write e l s e and i f separately then you are opening one more if then you have to end it okay so else if preset sorry else if next clear clear underscore l is equal to 0 then q n colon equal to so clear equal to 0 means sorry it is 1 preset preset means output we are setting so output is equal to 1 and here it is 0 so clear is equal to l clear underscore l is equal to 0 we are clearing the output so output is equal to 0 next else if else if means other than these two cases else if clock tick event 
clock-tick event, that means first we are checking whether preset and clear are zeros or not. If any of these two cases are valid, then they, it, it simply goes with that and they automatically the system will terminate, the program will terminate. Otherwise, it, if these two are not valid, then it goes to the clock clock tick event clock tick event and we are taking rising edges so clock is equal to 1 then then so now we need to compare now we need to compare jk flip flops so when clock is rising clock is having a rising edge then we need to compare the j and k status so if j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 then what happens then qn is equal to qn is equal to previous state qn is equal to qn qn is equal to qn else if this else if now works under this one okay this else if works for this one so else if j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 1 then qn colon is equal to 0 else if j is equal to j is equal to 1 j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 0 then qn colon is equal to 1 qn colon is equal to 1 okay else if else if j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 then what happens j is equal to 1 and k is equal to 1 then q n is equal to previous state it is a complement of input so not q n not qn okay see here what is the next statement see if preset we have compared clear we have compared clock tick is compared and j all these events are compared else 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 output is null output is null what do you mean by this one when this uh, null condition will execute this will execute when preset and clear both are activated preset and clear both are activated if preset is equal to 0 and clear is also equal to 0 then otherwise clock tick is equal to uh, clock tick event and clock equal to 0 in that case also this null is executed so if any of the above conditions are failed then null is executed and now we need to end if how many ifs we have opened this is one if and previously we have one more if so end if end if now assign qn end if here you can write else null one more line okay now qn is equal to q sorry q is equal to qn qn should be assigned with q because the original output is q what we have declared in the entity q is equal to q n see this is signal left side one is signal right side one is variable that's why it is less than equal to and q bar is equal to not qn okay so end process end behavioral okay this is the one of the important programs in the digital ic design subject jk flip flop with preset and clear thank you